I am Ines Alea from ToleratedCinematics.com and today I will be showing you how to paste footage onto a monitor screen. So this is actually a second part tutorial of the previous tutorial and that was a tutorial on how to make a futuristic HUD in Adobe After Effects. If you haven't checked that tutorial out, be sure to check it out. And also if you have completed that tutorial, make sure you render out your futuristic HUD first before you import it back into After Effects and we can work that way. Because if you're going to use the composition right away, it's going to have to make new calculations so it's easier if you just render it out, import it back into After Effects and work with it that way. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. I have my footage right here. If you want to work on the same footage that I am using for this tutorial, you can download that footage in the description. So I'm going to drag and drop this footage in here. And before we start, I'm also going to say that we are not going to track this footage the same way that uh, After Effects allows us to do. So it's not an internal tracker. Um, actually, we're going to use a third party plugin and that plugin is called Faye In. Also a link in the description. If you want to buy that plugin, you can use a discount code tolerated 20 so you can get 20% off. So that's actually great. Um, but also this plugin is actually really great. So you can do a lot of cool things with it and very easily. And that's why I chosen to work with this plugin. It actually works very easily because you don't have all these crazy settings and you just select whatever you want to track and it's going to track that perfectly. So uh, let me show you how that is done right now. So here we have our footage and actually we have an animation and it comes closer to the screen. And yeah, it's going to be a lot of work if you want to track it uh, regularly. But right now I'm just going to use um, yeah this footage here and use the plugin Fade In. So I'll go to uh, Effects, go to Fade Tech and click on Fade In. And it's going to open up uh, the effect and a new window here. So we can dock this right here, maybe uh, make it a little bit larger. Well, we can see a lot of information here and here. So we're just going to click on our footage and then we're going to add a track. And actually the other windows is for uh, other compositions. So actually we can delete those so you don't have to see them and you're not going to be disturbed by them. So we have our footage here. We're going to click on our footage. You can click it on here or on here. It depends on whatever you want. And then click on add a track. You can also click it on here, add track. So it's very easily, you have a, a lot of options to work with it. And then it's going to pop up a window like this one. And here's where the magic happens. So we see that our footage is, yeah, um, we're, we're going to track our complete footage. So we don't have to, we don't have to add a start and stop because we're going to track the complete footage, but you can do that if you just want to track a portion of your footage. And then you have to choose between these two methods. Uh, I'm going to use the first one because it actually resembles a screen a lot. So I'm going to zoom in on my footage a bit. Then I'm going to click on the screen here and just very roughly. So it doesn't have to, have to be perfect. And once you are done, it's going to close it down and then you can still move um, everything um, yeah, to make it look perfect. So you can uh, zoom in here, maybe position it a little bit better everywhere. And there we go. Okay, so this looks great. And then what you can do is uh, choose the area type. So this is a static object, which means that the object that we're going to track doesn't move. So it's a computer screen, it's not moving. And so we are going to click on this house. If you want it to track a dynamic item, so like a car that moves by or like, yeah, you want to use it like a truck and you want to track something on that truck, um, you're going to choose a dynamic object and then you click over here. So uh, for this example, it's a static object and yeah, for the rest, tracking quality automatic is okay. And then we can just click on the start uh, button here and it's going to track. So you're going to see here that it's going to progress and it's already 3%. I'm going to let this do its thing until it's 100% and I'll be back. Okay, so I have my track here and you can still move like these lines up a little bit to make them look a little bit better. And then you can also jump in here in the transform corner correction and check that button and open it up here. And then you can just choose like here in the bottom left, I'm going to position this just a little bit better. So there we go. We can move it like that as well. The bottom right, a little bit more to the bottom. And yeah, just check if the corners look all right. So the top right, we can also correct that just a bit. And then the top left, okay. 
And there we go. So now we have a perfect track and all we have to do is just right click here on our placeholder and then just exchange and the insert footage. I'm going to re-import it because I'm not sure which one I'll be using or right here I have the uh, .mp4. So actually this is my footage so you can just scroll to the bottom if you don't have that and import your footage right here. I'm going to be using the footage that I have already imported. So I have a lot of options in here, um, but that's because I have been doing the practice of this tutorial in here as well. So um, I should have made a new project, but yeah. Okay, so then we will get a adjustment of the insert. So you can uh, choose if you uh, wanted to match the aspect ratio of this placeholder, or if you don't, uh, if you don't want that, and then it's uh, going to stick as the original image. But if you're starting out with Feyen, it's easier to say no, and then it's going to automatically adapt to the screen resolution uh, right here. So. Actually, we're done, so that's all we had to do. And if we're going to move in our timeline, you're going to see that the screen is perfectly fitting onto our footage. And yeah, that's it. So uh, now what we can do is um, pick two, two points here, like the white point and the black point to adjust the screen to, to appear more realistic. So I'm going to pick a white point here and I'm going to put it on here because this is the white of my other screen and then like a black point of my footage. Um, yeah, maybe like a black point over here, I guess. Looks okay. You can click on a color and maybe make it just a little bit darker. Uh, it's up to you. And there we go. So now we have a pretty realistic screen. Then you can also go to the effects and go to like a noise and grain, add some grain onto your footage. Um, also final output and then you're going to see some grain on your screen with it, which is going to make it look a little bit more realistic. And then lastly, you can also apply some glow uh, if you want to, to make it stylized a little bit. Um, yeah, increase the radius here and yeah, um, maybe lower the threshold, but also lower the intensity. And now we have some, some glow that's going to overlap it just a bit and make it look cooler. Okay, so now we have our screen onto our footage, as you can see here. <laughs> Okay, so here you can see that it sticks perfectly to the screen and it looks pretty cool. So, okay, and then one thing you can also do is pre-compose everything. So we have our two files here and pre-compose them, layer, pre-compose, and then yeah, just uh, futuristic comp. And then go to the composition settings and change the height. Of course, here I am working in a 4K resolution. Uh, you can also work in Full HD. Um, for Full HD, you should enter here 800 for yeah um, 4K, the double of it, so 1600, and then just click OK, and then you will get this nice wide screen. And then you can also change the composition to whatever you like, maybe something like this, and then. Also, you can create a new adjustment layer and start color grading your footage here. Um, but what I will do is use one of my LUTs that you can buy on my website. Um, but if you go to effects and presets and search for LUT, apply color LUT, you can apply this to the adjustment layer. And then, um, well, this is actually something that comes with After Effects and that reads LUTs. And these are my LUTs, so I'm going to use the desaturated action, open that up and you will see that it gives it style to our video instantly. So I'm going to lower the opacity just a bit because um, it's a little bit too intense, but you can see it already gives a nice, um, yeah, filmic look. So that's uh, pretty cool. And also I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and yeah, choose the ellipse tool here and make like an ellipse in my footage here and subtract the mask here, F on the keyboard for the feathering, increase the feather amount and then go to effects, color correction, curves, and lower the curve so it's a little bit darker in the edges so we get some nice vignette in the corners and that also makes it look more like in a film. Uh, so this is actually the complete tutorial, it's that easy to create and yeah I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you did give it a like, also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and definitely let me know what you have been creating with this tutorial. So um, thank you so much for watching and goodbye, take care.